Hello everyone, this is Dr. Aaron Seaton with The Chiropractic Place. Today's video is on chronic low back pain. This is something that we see a lot of in our office. So it's nice to understand what the different causes of that can be. And this is why we take our consultation, our exam, and digital x-rays in this office so seriously, because it's important for us to understand exactly what is the cause of your chronic low back pain. So a lot of the times, People can have some arthritis that is in the low back that is starting to flare up. Perhaps they were unaware that they had this. This is one of those things with arthritis is in the spine, arthritis can be there seven to 10 years of development before you even know you have any symptoms of it or anything like that. So it is something that can develop prior to you having any symptoms. So arthritis can be a cause. Another cause can be a disc problem. And sometimes with the discs, people experience more pain in the morning when they first wake up. That's kind of signature with discs is they tend to rehydrate at night when we're sleeping. And so when we first get up in the morning, they're kind of full of water. And if you have any inflammation or damage to that disc, it tends to be more painful at that time in the morning. So disc problems can also have kind of radiating pain uh, down either leg sometimes. Uh, if you cough or sneeze or you're going to the bathroom and when you bear down you kind of feel more pain in your low back possibly coming into one leg or the other those are some signs of disc doesn't necessarily mean that's exactly what it is but those are some of the classic signs so that's something you also need to be aware of and then this is a big one that nobody really talks about that that i see this at least once or twice a month where no one has ever taken x-rays of the patient standing up a lot of the times x-rays, spinal x-rays, are taken with the patient lying down. Well, in my office, your spine is a weight-bearing structure. So I want to see what your spine looks like when you're bearing weight, when you're standing up and interacting with gravity. And this is something I see quite a bit, is you'll see this unevenness in the pelvis and in the hips that no one ever told that patient hey, by the way, you realize you have an 18 millimeter or 20 millimeter difference in the height of your hips, of course your back hurts because your foundation is completely unlevel. Now there's no special adjustment for that, but if we get them the proper heel lift and we use that with their chiropractic care, these patients respond wonderfully and many of them are so thankful that we took these x-rays because now they understand why their back has been hurting and most of those patients get overwhelmingly positive results once we start bringing that heel lift and that consistent chiropractic care back in and get that pelvis and hips, get those balanced again, those people tend to feel amazing. So this is why every single one of these, if you look at discs or arthritis, leg length inequalities, all of these can be seen on the digital x-rays that we take in my office. This is why it's so important when we have new patients that we take a look and we analyze and understand what is going on with you before we do anything. I would never go to a dentist without them knowing the structure and the anatomy of the teeth they're working with. That's a dentist that's being thorough. Hey, I wanna understand your unique anatomy and your teeth before we do anything. And we'll see if there's any underlying conditions, but we need to take those x-rays. No different in chiropractic. Before we start adjusting your spine, before we start making corrections, what are the corrections that need to be? Are there any underlying issues like these that we need to address before we do anything? That's us trying to be thorough with our patients. And it's important when you choose chiropractic care, you go to an office where they are being thorough, they're understanding what to do with you. And especially if you're dealing with chronic low back pain, what is causing that and how do we help you? I'm Dr. Aaron with The Chiropractic Place.